Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Today is Thursday, October 29th, 2020, and this is video 48. It is almost Halloween here in the States and I can hardly wait. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's a lot of fun in my track and my neighbor's getting ready to put up a big, like a spooky house out front that he, he does every year and it attracts a lot of kids and it's a lot of fun. We uh, pass out a lot of candy. This year we'll be wearing gloves and masks to be safe and that way the parents can feel safe. And it's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait for Saturday. I decorated a little bit more, added a spooky spider, added a couple of cross stitch pieces that I showed in my videos in the last, uh, I think it was last video I showed. This one was in the last video. These two were in the video before and a punch needle over here, um, Halloween over here. So I showed those in my past videos and I have them out for display. Like I said, it's one of my favorite times of year. Some of these, especially this one, the Trick or Treaters by Bobby G Designs. I had a lot of people ask about this one. I keep it out year round. I have it up on my uh, mantle, or not my mantle, my shelf. I love looking at it. I don't care that it's Halloween all year. It makes me happy. I stitched it, it was a lot of work, and you can probably see the ghost right here. He was a lot of work. If you wanna see it up close, it was shown in, I think it was the video before last. So anyway, Halloween coming, I'm excited. I have some more Halloween giveaways, thanks to viewers that have sent in some donated charts. Some Two of them are brand new. Actually, I think they're all brand new. They're beautiful and stick around for more giveaways. I have two giveaway winners from the last video, and I'll tell you about some other stuff going on in my group, Stitching 911 on Facebook. And more news, let's talk about cross stitch. If I didn't already say, this video is about cross stitching. I do have one crochet thing to show today. It's a baby blanket I've been working on. It's almost done. I'll show it once before, and then the next time you see it, it'll be finished. I, um, I'll talk about November plans for myself. Some people are doing New Start November. That's not going to be me. <laughs> I don't need any more new starts. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wait and work on things that I've already started. And the only new start I am having, I am going to do is November 1st. It's our Carolyn Manning stitch along. Lots of people are still asking me about like how to join and it's very easy. All the progress and posts will be on Stitching 911. 911 are the numbers on Facebook. So it's Stitching Space 911. You're more than welcome to join us. It is a little bit different of a stitch along than some stitch alongs. And the great thing is that they are, stitch alongs are different for every group, different for every person. So it could be a group of people working on the same chart. It could be mystery chart stitch alongs if you've heard of those those are where you don't know what you're stitching you get parts of the chart released to you at certain times well my stitch along is not going to be anything like that at all this has to do with a designer carolyn manning you are it's up to you to choose the the project you choose whatever carolyn manning chart you like she does have a website i think it's carolynmanning.com she has some free charts on her website she has full coverage, they're small, they're not real big, full coverage geometric designs, which I'll be doing. She also has, if that's not your style, she has gnomes, she has trees that are adorable. Check out Peppermint Tree, I think it's called, it's a Christmas one, it is so cute. There's a Halloween one that someone in the group is doing. There are trees, gnomes, snowmen that you could do that are much smaller, and so pick any chart. I believe the websites are PDFs. Um, Pick any chart, get your floss. You don't, if, if you're late in joining and you're not gonna get your supplies on time, that's okay. Join us anyway, cause it's gonna be tons of fun. There's lots of different styles of Carolyn Manning that people have picked. And so when you join the group, Stitching 911, what you're gonna do, the hashtag is the Carolyn Manning Sal. So I will be posting my updates on, of course, in the group. And then I will post it on my Instagram as well, using the same hashtag. You don't, once you join my group, you don't have to join anything else. You're already in the group. What we're doing is we're, po some people have already posted what they're going to start. It doesn't have to be a new start. It could be one that you're already working on. In fact, my friend Jean started sea glass on a, a fabric she didn't like. So what she's gonna do is switch out her fabric and restart it on November 1st. 
Some people have already started some Carolyn Manning designs that they've been working on and maybe put down or are still working on. They're joining us too. So it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So if you are interested, join us in the group and just post away, post your progress whenever. There is no deadline and there's no saying, oh, you have to have page one done by this time. It's not like that, it's open. So there's no pressure. You just basically just post progress when you want or if you want. <laughs> so it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, I wanna talk about a um, new release from Satsuma Street. Now I am gonna do new releases like I always do. That's gonna be at the end of the video, but I wanna show this one because it's special because there's a discount on it until I think tomorrow. Now Satsuma Street released a new chart. It's their first Hanukkah chart. It's beautiful. They said it's fun, sparkly, and an easy stitch. I love sparkly. <laughs> so this is the beautiful Hanukkah chart. It's called Peace and Light. So if you order through them on their, I believe they're on, yeah, they're on Etsy, 15% off of this chart until tomorrow. They, they put the 30th, they didn't put the month. So I'm going to assume it's till tomorrow. Use the PDF code, I mean, I uh, use the code number eight and then in caps D-A-Y-S. So eight days, all together, one word, number eight, D-A-Y-S, when you're checking out if you buy that particular chart. It's so pretty, but I wanted to tell you about it um, while she still had the discount going. Okay, let's talk about, oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the cauldron that you asked about. Lots of people asked and love the finish of the Erica Michael Scary Berry that I did. Now the finish itself was done by my friend Kathy. She does a lot of my finishes. She found a cauldron. A lot of people make it into a strawberry finish. They, they sew it up into what looks like a strawberry. It, it is adorable. And Kathy found a cauldron instead to put it on. It's a perfect size. It's thin, it's wood, and it's such a perfect um, piece for a finish. So people have asked me, where do you find this cauldron? Check out woodcrafter.com. She has used them before. She really likes the website, good customer service. So check out woodcrafter.com. You can go up to the search bar at the top and you can actually Google or a search cauldron and it'll come up for you. You'll see it. Now you will have to spray paint it black because it comes in a regular wood, uh, heavy, you know, not heavy, but it's very lightweight and it's perfect for a finish. But like I said, Kathy did have to paint it black. So check them out. Woodcrafter.com. I'll put the link below. Uh, let's see, we have giveaway winners. Two giveaway winners from my last video. We had two charts. We had Trick or Treat by Stitching from Stitching with the Housewives. The other one from Stitching with the Housewives is Boo to You. Halloween theme, of course, because Halloween is just a couple days away. So the winner of this one, Trick or Treat, is Julie Rose. She is from the United Kingdom. Hello, Julie. Congratulations on winning. Julie says, Halloween's not too big. You know, it's not too, too popular in the UK, but it is getting more popular. Um, I think when she was a kid, maybe they, it wasn't that popular, but it is starting to become more popular. I think she said that she was buying some kids some candy this year. So congratulations, Julie. I don't have your comment in front of me, but I think that's what you said. But I do know you're from the UK. So get a hold of me. Send me an email at stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R number five at AOL.com and I'll get you your chart. Congratulations. Next up, we have Boo to You from Stitching with the Housewives. This one goes to Natalie Anagnos, A-N-A-G-N-O-S. Natalie, you won, congratulations. She says she has wonderful memories of her daughter sorting candy and watching The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Me too, I love The Great Pumpkin. So congratulations, you guys. These are your charts. Get a hold of me and I'll mail them out probably on Friday if I hear from you or I'll mail them out sometime this weekend. Okay, I'm back. I just started coughing. That's why my eyes are all watery. <laughs> Let's talk about whips I've worked on. I haven't had a lot of progress, but I have gotten some work done on Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna Designs. This is a fun one. I love the colors. I did change one of the colors. 
This is Snooty Parrots. There's the parrots. <laughs> so you can see these letters up here are kind of pink. And I like the darker red in the border. So I changed this to a darker red. And the pink will still, you know, appear in other areas. But I just wanted these to be a little bit brighter. This is on Vintage Pecan Butter by R &R, Lakeside Linen or r, r I think it's Lakeside. It is, has to be so far one of my favorite fabrics. I think it's Lakeside. Vintage Pecan Butter, and I plan on trying to find it again. I can't find it online. I'm going to try calling some of the other <clears throat> stores out here and see if they can find it for me. It's fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Here's my progress. So you can see I changed and made that lettering a little bit brighter. I think it'll appear really good when I get everything done. It's going to look pretty. I just wasn't crazy about the light pink. Just wanted it a little bit brighter to match, you know, some of the darker red in here. So it'll it'll work out good. It's the same color as in, in here. I want to show you how pretty this fabric is up to white. So see, you get an idea. It's a real pretty tan. <clears throat> Vintage pecan butter. I love it. It's beautiful. So that was my first project that I worked on. The next one that I worked on was Mary 395. I am using Classic Colorworks Belle Swa Cranberry. And here's the chart. <clears throat> this is by Hands Across the Sea. It is a Bristol Orphanage sampler, one of my favorites. So I am working on the third row. And I've mentioned before that these letters have a lot of stitching in them. They're not easy. I looked at them and thought, oh, I can breeze through this. This is taking me forever. <laughs> so this one's beautiful. This is a color that I dyed myself. It's on 40 count linen. There's my progress. Up close, you can really see how much stitching, especially the S that I'm working on right now, the S is right here. That's a lot of stitching. Uh, some of the bigger letters like the Q's, the W's, those are all a lot of stitching. Too bad you can't really see them. But anyway, 40 count on a fabric that I dyed myself. And the color is about the same as that last one that I just showed. You kind of get a better idea when I put white behind it what it... Uh, what it looks like. So Mary is stitched with Belsoa silks. Little hard to deal with in, in a couple reasons. It, um, someone asked me a question, I think on one of the comments, how do you, no, 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 it was an email. How do you control the bleeding of the red on your fabric? And I said, bleeding, I don't see any bleeding. I said, what I do see is like fuzzies. You know, sometimes when you're stitching, there's little red um, coloring on the outside of the letters and it kind of looks like bleeding. But now this is not color fast, so you don't want to get it wet. But what I do is I just take a dab of like, I mean, don't wet your hand, just like damp, like make sure it doesn't get wet, but just something to grip it the, the and just go like this and you'll take the fuzzy off. It's it's hard to explain, but it really does look like bleeding, but it's not bleeding, it's fuzz. Fuzz is a better word, it's fuzz. So as you're stitching with this floss, it does leave just a tiny, tiny bit of, of fuzz, and it's not, uh, you, it's just something you can just pick off. It's not a big deal. It's a great, great floss. I love it. It's a great color. Cranberry's a great color. But like I said, I just kind of go like this, and then just kind of pull the fuzz off, and then it'll take away that red along the letter that looks like bleeding. I think that's what she was talking about. In fact, I think she wrote back now that I'm thinking about it and said, oh my gosh, it's not, it, you're right, it's fuzz. It's just a kind of a weird fuzz that looks like a residue left behind. It's not a big deal, but it is a great floss. I'll definitely use it again. Let's see, the last thing that I worked on 
was my Carolyn Nanny Watermelon Tourmaline, which I told you guys about in my last video as to why I started it. This is not my start for November 1st. November 1st, I originally was going to do sea glass, and I think I've changed my mind and kitted up another one. I'll show you next video. <laughs> so for now, I got Watermelon Tourmaline going. It's a very relaxing stitch. It's repetitive. I love it. It's just what I need right now. I explained last time that my my mind has been a little mush and I'm still just really sad about losing my German Shepherd. I mentioned in my last video, my heart is still broken. It's just, it's going to be, it's always going to be broken. That's just the way it is. I, I can't replace him. And so I needed something that was, would get my mind off of it. Not get my mind, something where I didn't have to count, I didn't have to do a border on a sampler that was repetitive and then I really had to pay attention to. I really like that this is just easy and solid, I guess you could say. I love the repetition of the colors. Like for instance, the pink here is the same here, here and here, down here. So it is a lot of repetition, but look at how pretty it is and how pretty it's coming out. Top left corner, is where I started. So you can see this part right here. Really pretty. This fabric is Chai from Seraphim Fabrics. The color of floss, I'll show those real quick because they're beautiful DMCs. They're just not very pretty because all they're all tangled. <laughs> but the color of floss, look at how beautiful these colors are. Look at this one. This one here is 956. This one's 601. So just beautiful colors. Watermelon Tourmaline by Carolyn Manning. So those were my whips for the week. Not a lot of progress. Let's talk about plans for me for November. I plan on working on projects that I've already started. No new starts for me except for November 1st, the Carolyn Manning stitch along. I will be starting a new one. It is another geometric shape and um, I'll show that next time. But as far as November stitching, I plan on doing more stitching. No new starts except for that one. I have two non-stitching related projects I wanted to show you just super quick. I am going to start up back up on my punch needle. This punch needle is enormous. It has a lot of colors and it's beautiful. This is Blue Christmas Santa by Michelle Palmer. She's on Etsy and this is all punch needle. Isn't he beautiful? Blue Christmas Santa. I plan on working on him. The only progress I have right now is his face. So you can see his face. And this is how punch needle is, is you draw the, actually that's the back. You draw on the back, your progress is on the front. So here's what he looks like. That's just his face so far. And I think his face came out pretty darn clear. Faces sometimes for me are a little bit more difficult, but um, that's what he looks like so far. And that's, that's what he will look like with the forest scene with the birds and the, uh, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to work on this. Okay. Also plans for November. I wanted to show one more non cross stitch related project that I am going to be finishing. It's almost done. It only has about maybe three or four rows left and it'll be done. And then I have ends to wind in. It is my baby blanket. It's a leisure arts pattern from one of my books. I don't know the name of it, but I will try and find the name of it maybe by next video. But anyway, here's my crocheted baby blanket. Isn't this beautiful? It's a minty color, like a green. That's my progress. And it is so long. You can see how long it is. And that's it. Up close, you can see it's got the little bobbles. Here's bobbles here, all the way up. So it's been a really fun, fun blanket to stitch on or to crochet on. And like I said, it's almost done. I just gotta weave in ends and it'll be done. Plans for November, those 
along with some of my samplers that I'm working on. I also pulled out that I wanted, I had mentioned that I wanted to start a Halloween stocking. I don't have any stockings for my mini tree. I mentioned the only decoration stitch wise is my Mill Hill Dracula. So what I did is I pulled this book out. These are small little stockings, or you can make them big depending on the fabric that you use. You can do whatever you want, make it whatever size you want. This will be my first stocking. So that's the one I wanna do, trick or treat. I've started collecting some floss for it. This book is by Blackbird Designs and it has some of the greatest stockings in here. Just simple little stockings if you want just alphabet, if you want, you know, more of a Halloween, like candy corn. How cute is that? If you want uh, polka dots, love that. Or just Halloween. But the one I am going to do is the one I just showed on the cover. Ooh, they even have a pumpkin, pumpkin, <laughs> can't even talk, pumpkin pin keep and how to make that. He's cute. This is a great book. There is tons of stockings in here. Look at this one with the cat and the house. Blackbird Designs, but this is the one that I'm going to do right here. So I've started kitting it up. I work on Halloween year round. So I also work on Christmas year round. This is the book. It's fabulous. Get it if you are interested in making a little, um, a few stockings from Blackbird Designs. It's a great, great book. The other one that I got, I pulled out of my stash is by Prairie Schooler called The Pumpkin Patch. This is another one I think I'd like to work on, the smalls. I thought about doing these individually, making little pillows out of them and putting them on my tree. So you can see here, I'm thinking maybe the pumpkin or the cat, starting with one of those first and making them into small ornaments for the tree. So Prairie Schooler, Pumpkin Patch. That's on my radar right now for November. Uh, let's talk about mail and stash. Um, then we'll get into new releases and the giveaways coming up in just a few minutes. So let's talk about some mail. I received some really neat charts. Actually, they're called Project Tracker Cards for my projects. Now, here's what they look like. Project Tracker, it says 2020 to 2022. So this happens to be the two-year tracker. You can, put, you can put a three-hole punch in it and put it in a little folder. These are available on Etsy. Her name is Sylvia, and the Etsy shop is S like Sam, like Sylvia, S Ward, W-A-R-D, Designs. Check out S Ward Designs on Etsy if you're interested in a way to keep track of your project. She's got different cards, such as uh, floss. You know, like this one happens to say project name, designer, fabric, and notes. And then it's got your 2020 calendar, start date, finish date, number of days that it took you on your project. And then it's got a calendar on the back. So this is such a great way to keep track of your projects and keep notes on your projects. Another one she sent is 2021 to 2023. These are both available on Etsy. I really like these. And she also has hours worked. She has different cards that have hours worked. And she also has another sheet that talks about per month, your time that you've worked per month. So check them out. I think this is so great. I love keeping notes. I love keeping a calendar of my projects. This is perfect to keep maybe with your project in your project bag. And that way you have exactly what your fat, you know, because how many times have I pulled out a, a project and I'm thinking, I always tell you guys, I think the fabric is this. I don't have it written down. It's because it's in my notebook downstairs. And unless I go downstairs and get it, it's, these are perfect to put with my projects in my bag. So again, check around. I'm going to put the link below down in the notes, the video notes, S Ward Designs on Etsy. Thank you, Sylvia, for sending me these because now I'll be able to put it in my project bags and be able to talk more about my fabric and floss that I've used and not sit here going, um, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> 
I had the most wonderful gift come from Portugal from Sandra, a viewer, and I hope she doesn't mind me showing. They are beautiful project bags. And she knows I love animals. She sent me a cat. Oh my gosh, look at that fabric. Look at the eyes on these cats. They're just gorgeous. Thank you, Sandra, so much. I have two or three projects right now in a Ziploc baggie. So guess what's going in these bags? <laughs> And Portugal is also known for tiles. Um, she explained that these are some of the tiles that are, that are real popular, famous in Portugal. So this is what they look like. And she made me a project bag. I cannot thank you enough. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. And she said that she's just barely starting to make them. I think she said I, they're, they're perfect. They're perfection. They're beautiful. I cannot thank you enough. She also gave me some silk floss, which I think is in one of these bags, but I don't know where I put it. The floss. I know I took it out. It was inside. Another project bag that I got, I want to tell you about her Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop is called Stitchin Peace. Stitchin, no G, just an N. Stitchin Peace, P-E-A-C-E -E on Etsy. Her name is Bev. You've got to see this, guys. Look at this beautiful bag. Here's the front. It's a vinyl front. And the bag is Paws Canine Police Law Enforcement Paws. The blue line is always representative for lost or fallen police officers or first responders in the police field. So this is perfect. Look at these feet. <laughs> She also sent me an ort container, which let me just tell you about my orts. They're everywhere. And I do use, I, I, have re, I have just started in the past few months using the little floss. I've showed them before. I don't have one here. They came from Dot Dot Goose Designs. Denise sent me some floss where you can put the little, when you cut, some people are going, what is an ort? An ort is when you cut your floss, when you're done with your floss and you cut it and you have a little piece left, it's that little piece. <laughs> You just throw it on a table. Anyway, you can put your little orts in here or they have the flat. I'll have to show it in the next video because I don't have one right now, but they stick to it and I love it. So this is perfect for mine. <laughs> Thank you, Bev. Again, Stitch in Peace, all one word. And her email is stitchinpeace at comcast.net. Her name is Bev and this is her card. Thank you so much, Bev. I really appreciate this. I think it's just beautiful. How perfect is that for me? <laughs> okay, next on the list, I bought a bag from Leslie. She is Fat Cat Flossing. She has a floss tube, which I'm going to link below. And it's Fat Cat, P-H-A-T, Cat. And then Flossing, I believe, is also P-H. Look at that bag. Isn't that beautiful? I got this a few months back. Gorgeous. Her bags she does on Instagram. I believe she has the same name, Fat Cat Flossing. I will put it below what her Instagram name is, but she posts it on there and she has bags from time to time for sale. And I grabbed one. I thought this was so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Leslie. Gorgeous bag. Okay, let's talk about some more stash that I got. This was from Jan. She wants to do a stitch along with me called Hannah. Cummins, 1828, a historical reproduction by Ellen Chester. The brand is, or the designer with my needle. Isn't that pretty? So thank you, Jan. I love this chart. Yes, I will definitely be doing a stitch along with you. Jan and I have one starting July, uh, January 1st. I don't have the chart with me. I'll have to tell you guys about it in the next video, but um, we have one that we're starting together January 1st. This will probably be maybe after that. So pretty, very pretty. I got a grime guard. I recently bought an 11 by 11 uh, grime guard. I had an eight by eight, it wasn't working. I had too much fabric. There was fabric everywhere on the sides. So I tried a bigger Q-snap. That's what I'm trying to say, Q-snap. And I needed a grime guard that goes around the Q snaps while I stitch. And this also can help hold in some of the fabric. So I get, got this from Garon, G-A-R-O-N, Garon Stitchery. 
They're fantastic. I also got two charts. If I can find them, I'll show you. And they shipped my order out in 20 minutes. I am not joking. If you have not ordered from them, check them out. Garon Stitchery, G-A-R-O-N. They are on Facebook. They're always posting new things that they have in their shop. And it's Gary and Ronnie from Gary's from the Sunshine Stitchers. It, they're fantastic, you guys. Lots and lots of charts. They have grime guards. And uh, if there's a lot of new viewers that don't know about Q-snaps and grime guards. I will talk about these in a video coming up for beginners. I've mentioned before that I am putting together notes on a video. But anyway, this um, grime guard has bees on it. A little hard to see. Bees, uh, honeycomb, uh, bee skep. There's the bee skep. So I got an 1111 grime guard from them. I got a new kit. This is from Bothy Threads, 12 Days of Christmas. Now, there is just something about me and kits going on right now. I love kits. I love them. It is so beautifully packaged. Look at this gorgeous floss. All the thread is labeled. Bothy Threads does a fantastic job on their kits. They are based in the United Kingdom. But here's what I got. It is the 12 Days of Christmas. I'll show it close so you can see that they are the 12 days of Christmas. Two turtle doves, three French hens. Wait, what is it? <laughs> I better not try and sing it. <laughs> you know the song. <laughs> anyway, so that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. And the kit is just, it's just gorgeous. So anyway, I love this one. I can't wait. I don't know when I'm going to start it. It's not going to be this year, but I did want to grab it. It's just beautiful. I am very happy with Bothy Threads. Coming to the United States from the United Kingdom, they shipped it the next day. And uh, I got it within just a week or so. Anyway, I love this chart. I think it's beautiful. I got Vintage Birds by Jeanette Douglas. This is a chart I've had my eye on for a long time. I think it's so beautiful. How pretty. Vintage Birds by Jeanette Douglas. I don't know if there, there's a couple specialty stitches, the satin stitch, oblong stitch, and the Algerian eye stitch. But you know, she really makes it um, easy to do. I'm not crazy about specialty stitches, but the way that she has posted it makes it look pretty easy to do if you just follow the directions. Not a big deal, and it makes a difference on your chart. Very pretty, very pretty colors. Another kit that I got, my very first Riolis kit. I saw this online somewhere and I got it and I think it is gorgeous. Gorgeous fall colors. In fact, it's called Warm Autumn. Look at that kit. Isn't that beautiful? I think I got it off Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, all that orange is just beautiful. And the crow. <laughs> he's what caught my attention so again this is called warm autumn it is completely labeled the colors are labeled I'm impressed with that because I don't want to sort colors some of their other Riolas kits I have heard nothing but good things about Riolas so anyway I got this kit too gorgeous let's show some more stash I have, I don't remember if I showed this one, the Plum Street Sampler Sweetheart Hill. It says, I belong with you. I think that's really pretty. It's the colors. I know I showed this as a new release. I just didn't know if I showed you that I got it. Look at that, those beautiful flowers. That's what it's all about. I think that's pretty. Um, another one, Ink Circles. The Modestly Sized Red Ship of Life. This I happen to see on a floss tube. Married with Stitches, I think it is, is doing this one. I think it's Derek. He was starting up in here, I believe. I think that's who it is. Anyway, when I saw he was working on this, I thought, oh man, I gotta have that chart. That's beautiful. Ink circles, it's my first ink circles. So, next, how about, this is one of my favorites. I got it on a D stash, Little House Needlework. It is called, it's number 23, The Old Doll. Isn't that cute? 
just reminds me of my childhood. Just lots of toys and dolls. And it says she sits on a shelf, tattered and worn, her hair a mess, her apron torn. With just one look, it's plain to see this doll was very loved by me. That's so true. It just reminds me of my bedroom at my dad's house. I love it. So I got that off D-Stash. I got this one by Twin Peak Primitives. Anas Anastasia Nikita sampler. I got the Moscow. You, there's Russian and then there's the English word. I think that's gorgeous. I love the colors. It's beautiful. This is available on their website, TwinPeakPrimitive.com, and they're also on Etsy. I think it's .com. I'll link it below if it's wrong. But they do have an Etsy shop, so check them out. But anyway, this word here can either be the English word of Moscow or it can be in Russian. They have both options. Okay, let's talk giveaways for this video. Thank you so much to the viewers who sent in our giveaways for today. I mean, it's just incredible to me that people actually think about you guys, the viewers, and giveaways, and it's just fantastic. I, I really can't thank you enough for doing that. So the first one came from Jan, the Blackberry Rabbit, October 31st, 1693. Giveaway number one, beautiful chart. I love it. Can you imagine? You can choose any kind of fabric, really, different colors if you wanted. Primitive Hair has an orange that would look really good on this. I actually, I just ordered some from Kitten Stitcher. How pretty. The Blackberry Rabbit. Uh, this is giveaway number one. You're going to put in comments down below which number that you want. I don't have a question this time. So just make a comment and just say I'm interested in number one, number two. I'm interested in three and four, whatever you'd like. You can put in for them all. So this is number one. Don't say the word giveaway down below in your comment. And you have to be 18. This is giveaway number two. It is Lila's Studio All Hollows Eve. Isn't that cute? I love it. Giveaway number two. And we have number three is Doubloon 28 count 18 by 27 fabric by Picture This Plus. Doubloon. It's really pretty. You get the idea of the color. Usually I put white behind it so you can really get an idea of, of how the color is. But 28 count. This is number three. And last but not least, number four, 16 count haunted. Now that's Halloween related. <laughs> 16 count for Ada, for Ada Stitchers, 12 by 17. So this is giveaway number four, three, 28 count, two, and giveaway number one. Thank you guys. Thank you viewers who sent those in. I just, it was just awesome that you did that. So in comments below, just put which ones you're interested in. You can enter for all of them if you'd like, whatever you'd want it, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, it's time for new releases. This is one of the most requested parts of my video that I get and people just really enjoy them. Again, not everybody has time to be on social media, so I try and think of those that are busy working and working long shifts like I did, and I try and bring you the new releases so you can see everything that came out in the last couple of weeks. So let's start with Hello from Liz Matthews. Now, she has knocked it out of the park. These new releases, there are four of them, are fantastic. If you want to see the models, take a look at her floss tube channel. It is Hello from Liz Matthews. And these are just, I'm telling you, her designs are gorgeous. Here's the first one. Third day of Christmas sampler and tree. She says you get both. And I think this is by far my favorite tree that she has made. It's just beautiful. Her videos are so fun. They make me laugh. And so check out her floss tube videos. But she does show all the models. And on the last one I'm going to show on the sampler, she'll show the actual sampler and the reproduction. So that one I just showed, third day of Christmas sampler and tree. You get both when you order the chart. Next one is Quaker Snowflakes. I love how she has shown two different fabrics. In fact, the blue version she mentioned was stitched on Haunted by Picture This Plus. Haunted is what I just showed as a giveaway a couple minutes ago. That's the same fabric. I think she said hers was on a linen though, like maybe a higher count. 
And the neutral in that picture is stitched on colonnade linen from Keller and Cotton. I love how she has both pictures. I'm leaning towards the blue with the white. I think it's just gorgeous. Next one is simple and classy, all Lang Syne. We all know the song and I love this. Beautiful and classy. The last one I wanna show by her is called A Pleasant Sampler, reproduction gorgeous. Again, check out her floss tube if you'd like to see the original sampler along with her newest model. It's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Her videos are so fun. She also mentioned that her newest charts are not going to be available on her Etsy shop for at least a few weeks because, and maybe even longer, because she lets the, the stores, the cross-stitch stores, sell them first. So if you don't see them in her Etsy shop, that's why. Next up for new releases, we have Galliana Cross Stitch Designs. I showed in my last video, I believe, or the one before, the bookshelf. It's gorgeous. Check it out. Galliana is on Etsy. It's spelled G-A-L-L-I-A-N-A. -A -A, Cross Stitch Designs on Etsy. This is House of Christmas. Isn't that pretty? Stitched up, it's going to be, oh, going to be great. I'll be getting that one. The next one I want to show, RETM, Cinderella. I'll list all of these down below um, just in case, because I know sometimes I'll say a word and you can't understand it, and that way I don't have to spell everything. Uh, this video would be so long. <laughs> RETM, Cinderella, it's beautiful. I was looking, you can see the dress on the lower right-hand side, the dress of Cinderella. I think it's on the right-hand side. It's so pretty. Okay, next we have Bella Filipina. He is from the Philippines and his, his designs are gorgeous. This is called Bellatrix. If you are interested in Bella Filipina, let me know. I can send you a list of the cross-stitch shops here in the UK, in Canada, and in some of the other, I think South Africa has a store that sells Bella Filipina. So I do have the list. I will... Uh, it's on his Facebook page, Bella Filipina. So I was able to find a list of the stores. If you have any questions, just email me. I'll let you know. Next, we have Madame Chantilly. Oh, and the last one, if I didn't say Bellatrix, is the name of that one. Madame Chantilly Halloween Drive. So cool. I love this one. Stitching with the Housewives. On Etsy, we have Mrs. Claus Cookies. And the next one by Stitching with the Housewives, this one will ship to shops. It's called A Merry Little Christmas. If you don't see them in their Etsy shop, it's me, it means they're in shops instead. Some are on their Etsy, some are not. So Mrs. Claus Cookies is on Etsy. A Merry Little Christmas, which I just showed, will ship to shops on November 3rd. And she also has January Truckin' Along. That ships to shops on November 3rd as well. Sugar Stitches on Etsy. This is number one through three of the Gingerbread Christmas. There's going to be nine of them. Sugar Stitches has some of the cutest stuff. You got to go check it out on Etsy. And if you ever have problems searching on Etsy, you have to put the words together. Sugar Stitches is one word. That might help. There's two from Tempting Tangles. We have Quakers in England and Be Joyful. Quakers in England is really pretty. I like them both, but I'm, I'm a Quaker stitcher. I love the Quakers. Shannon Christine is next. She has a website, shannonchristine.com. The Sewing Room. And she has another one that just came, two more that just came out today by Shannon Christine. Feeling Very Frosty. And Gnome for Christmas. Aren't those colors beautiful? That red and black buffalo check on the gnomes for Christmas. And the green on the other. Pretty. From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. She, I believe it's on Etsy or she has a website. I'll link it below. Hannah's Christmas is shipping to shops. And it's an adaption of the motifs from Hannah Hetherington. If you guys remember Hannah Hetherington, I'll show that here. That's another beautiful chart, which I bought. And it's from the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. Al Forest, one of my favorites. I mentioned them in my last video, how fast they do shipping from Russia. It's amazing. Al Forest's new release is called Autumn Still Life. And I want to show the gorgeous floss that they can send with the kit if you order it as a kit. This is why I order the floss from them. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And Twin Peak Primitives, today they released Old Mill. I'll be getting this one. <laughs> The colors, oh my gosh, the windmill, the colors, I love it. And they have another one on their website that I love. It's Spooky Mill, I think it's called, it, but it's like a Halloween version of a windmill in Holland, in the Netherlands. Wow, it's gorgeous, I love it. And I think I have that one too. <laughs> anyway, that one's called Old Mill, the new release. And last but not least, I wanted to tell you, if you're interested in Punch Needle, Teresa Kogut has a new Punch Needle book. I'll show it here. I will definitely, in the, in the beginning of the new year and this month, the one I showed earlier, will be working on Punch Needle again. It's so fun. I, I want to get back into it again. I showed, I've got one finished back here, the, right there, where the jack-o'-lantern with the black cat sticking out of it, that is Punch Needle as well. And then I have this one. This was my first punch needle. I started with something very, very basic. And as you guys remember from me showing before, this is a to candle topper from Bath and Body Works. Is that the, the candle shop, Bath and Body Works, here in the States? But this was my very first punch needle, and it fit. My finisher, Kathy, was able to make it fit. Punch needle, starting with something, I think the biggest thing that people do wrong with punch needle is getting some advanced chart. I mean, some really detailed chart and then losing interest in it. Get something simple like this. You can get this um, this pattern, the peppermint candy. I'm going to have to link it below because I can't. Her name is Rose and she's back in Indiana, but I can't remember the name. Stitches... I'll list it below, I, and I'll mention it in my next video, but I can't remember. Get something simple, punch it, you'll see a finish, you'll enjoy punch needle a lot better than getting something very detailed, like the Santa Claus that I'm working on. Because if you're new and you don't think you're doing it right, or you're just not look, liking the look of it, you're going to lose interest in it. So, okay guys, that's it. That's all I have for today. I'm going to show more haul in my next video in two weeks. I am going to have a sampler video. If it's not this week, and it'll be next, it'll be this coming week. Sampler video. I'll be talking more on um, Darlene Osteen that passed away. That's something else I wanted to mention. A very sad loss to the needlework world. She passed away just a few days ago, and um, Darlene is just a master at teaching. She is an author and instructor. She passed away this. Um, of uh, cancer. And I'll talk about her in the sampler video. I, I have done some research on her. I've seen some charts I love that she's done. She has a book. It was called The Proper Stitch, all on like how to do specialty stitches. So when the sampler video comes out, either this weekend or maybe the beginning of next week, I will talk more about Darlene. And in the meantime, um, I don't know if her family watches, but we're sure th I, I'm sure thinking about her and what a loss, what a wonderful con contributor to needlework. Um, that's a shame. I know I was not fortunate enough to take any classes that she taught, but I sure wish I had. I wish I could have met her. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and close you guys. And I thank you for, um, watching all the new subscribers thanks for watching i've got a lot of fun stuff coming up i've got a floss tag how to make floss tags tutorial coming up soon i may talk about more take talk about on a special video a little bit more about punch needle but in the meantime you guys happy halloween to those celebrating follow me on instagram i am 911 stitcher all spelled out in letters facebook group it's so fun it is stitching space number 911. Come join us. Join the Carolyn Manning cell. It's going to be so fun. Stitch Along is going to be great. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.